Hey everybody, Brian here. Brian here once again with uh, Ted. And in the last video, Ted talked about uh, some things people are doing in the Rust Belt up there with some properties and some of the returns getting. It's, it's incredible. There's so much opportunity in this space. So I wanted to bring Ted back for one last video and talk a little bit more about what is possible and what some of his clients have actually been seeing. And by the way, even the EVG members are doing this, by the way. So EVG members are doing this and loving it. So it is amazing. So Ted, can, I, I want, can you elaborate on, on what that looked like? Because you mentioned someone that they invested 12, got 40. What, what's yeah, that look yeah. like? What was that? Yeah, well, what's happened is, um, is the areas are, um, you know, if you say go to Detroit, everybody's going to say, oh, I'll go to Detroit. No, no, not that. But Michigan's a beautiful state outside of Detroit. So I'll give you, a, I'll give you some examples. So I have some clients that live in Wisconsin. If you remember, that's just on the other side of, 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 Lake, of, of Lake Michigan. And so in Wisconsin, uh, it's not a good state to do it because the state buys the property. So they learn my system. And what they do is they live in Wisconsin. So they drive six hours over to Michigan. They go across the big bridge up there in the north up by, uh, on the Upper Peninsula. And uh, you're going to love this story. Now, this couple is 60 plus years old. They're getting retirement. Uh, she's a PhD. He's a, uh, a mechanic. Okay. It's amazing. Uh, they, they're, they're lovebirds at, 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 uh, at 60 years old. All right. So they learned, they came to my class and they learned, they, oh, they want to buy product. So they went over to Michigan to the auction. Now in Michigan, all the builders left a long time ago. Same in New York. There's no more builders. They're gone. All the builders are either in the West or in the South. The people, people aren't buying new stuff. They're moving out or they get old. So there's a lot of substantial houses that are 40 or 50 years old that are a little bit used, a little bit abused, but I mean, not falling down shacks now. These are good houses and they're worth uh, 50, 75,000. But when people in Michigan want to sell those, they're scratching their head and say, what are we going to do? And so some people just say, I'm not going to do anything and they just abandon it. So some of these houses are pretty darn good. So I have clients that have bought as many as 60. Now, I'm not going to go through a 60. I'm just going to tell you about one, this older couple. All right, so this older couple, they learned in our class, go and get one of these nice houses and then port it up for sale and say installment sale. Now, this just means you're going to get payments. So sure enough, they go and buy this house. It cost them $8,000. Now, it's a substantial structure. You're going to be seeing pictures of it as I talk. So a nice structure. They cleaned it up. We teach them, don't fix it up. Just clean it up. Make sure it looks okay. They put it up for sale. They immediately got it sold for thirty-five thousand. So you're saying, well, let's see how much they put in. Well, they put eight thousand, four thousand for fix-up. So they got twelve in. The math is there on the screen. You'll see it. Okay, it's twelve in. They sold for thirty-five. So in the two weeks around Christmas, when every broker will tell you you can't sell a property, and every mm -hmm. person in the country will say nobody's working, they sold the property. It made twenty-three thousand. So then the, they had a note on their sign outside that said, accept installments. So the guy said, I want to have an installment sale. I'll pay you. So over the next 10 years, they're going to get payments of $52,000 on their $12,000 investment. Right. They're going to get payments totaling $52,000. 52, take off the 12, they're making $40,000 on, on that investment. Folks, that's about... 40% on their money every single year. Well, they yeah. didn't just do it once. They did it three times in a two month period. The point is they're doing this when the snow was falling. They're not waiting for the best weather. Whatever the auction takes place, they go and do it. This is happening across the United States. So he has one couple, 60 years old, made $40,000 on their first deal. The bank has called them twice and said, can we buy your contract? Because they're making 40% on the contract. What banker do you know would help you make 40%? The banker is right. trying to buy their paper. So you're getting the idea. It's all because we can buy a nice house, a livable house for $8,000, spend 4,000, get all the fussing out of it, not fix it up and sell it to people that are willing to. So there's hundreds of people that qualify for that loan. A bank doesn't like to loan anything less than 100000 on a house. They don't want those. They, they, they just shun those people out the door. This 25% of the market can't buy a house because they can't get a bank loan. So why not be a lender? Yep. Why not be a lender? They've got 12000 in, and they're going to get 40000 profit back. I don't think that's a bad deal. I have one guy that's done 60 of those, and now I'll give you some frosting on the cake. The guy started out as a student with me. 
He had to buy all those properties using a credit card. So he buys it with a credit card in Michigan, and then he sells it using an installment sale that pays off the credit cards. How about yeah. that? So he did not spend four years getting an MBA at any school you can name. He went to the School of Hard Knocks, uses a credit card to buy. He's done 60 of those. Well, how would you like to have 10 or 15 of these things sending you four and $500 checks every month? That's what he had. Right. Never has to work a day in his life. Yeah. So when I got my start in real estate, I was doing owner financing, which is how to become the bank, right? Without a lot of money. And it's complicated. A lot of moving parts and pieces and a lot of people were involved. Um, and it's weird. When I did that, you could see who was making the money, right? The lender made the money. The title company made the money. The real estate you know, made the money. I made the money almost last, right? But with what you're talking about in this strategy, you're becoming the bank. That is like one of the safest positions to be in is a lender. When you are a lender, you're in one of the best positions in real estate because you're on the title, you're secured via an asset, you're getting cash flow. You, I, it's, it's, it's nuts. And so I love, that, I love hearing that. Well, here's the best part of the whole thing. So the buyer comes, wants to buy this house. Now, it's only a $50,000 house, right? I mean, the guy buys it for thirty five, dollars so he's really happy because of a $50,000 assessed value, and he's buying it for thirty five, dollars so he's excited. But they're even more excited because they got $22,000 or $3,000 in profit. Here's what both of them like. They made it standing there in the driveway because <laughs> there was no title company. There was right. no broker. There was no banker. There was no home inspection and there was no appraisal. Everybody agreed what they wanted. So they wrote it all down and they went over and had an attorney write it up. He charged them 500 bucks to write it up. And that yep. was all the expenses. So they saved thousands of dollars. The guy was in there in days and they had their contract in days. I mean, their banker saw the contract. The banker is calling him. Can we buy that contract from you? Yeah. It's unbelievable. So think yeah. of all the, you, you and I know, well, we can't get an appraisal done. Oh no, we can't get the, we can't get the home inspection done. We can't, it's always something you're trying to get the deal finished. It's two months later, right? You're going right. crazy trying to finish up. They finished it up in the driveway. I mean, I, I'm going to show people videos of deals being made in the hood of a car, residential land. You want that? Great. You just, we'll, we'll just make a contract right now. What well, we both agree, take it to your yep. attorney. If he likes it, if you want, if you know Guy said, well, I don't need an attorney. You, you give me a deal, I'm, I'm taking it. Give me the deed. You know, why not? So, well, you don't give the deed up, it. folks. You keep the deed until your guy pays for it. But they, they like right. it. People like it. And it's kind of back to America where America was, was born and people making deals. And uh, anybody that's in the middle part of the country, they'll, it's just like the contract of sale that every farm is sold on. You can't sell a farm going to the bank. The banker would laugh at you. We don't, but how do we know if you're going to have any corn next year? We don't know if your pigs are going to die. So bank right. farmers sell to other farmers is what they do. Well, now we're going to do the same thing. It's working. This is a one-page contract, four pages. Not 40, four, four pages. Done. Yep. We teach the class on how to do it. They love it. And people go crazy over it. So you're kind of getting the idea. So it's a yeah. different market. Let me do a quick review. We do tax yep. liens. We teach you that. We teach you tax deeds. So there's two good businesses. We show you how to combine all that together so you can do whatever you want. There's going to be 3,000 auctions minimum. No, there's going to be 5,000 minimum auctions in this next new, new year. I do class on it every month. It's an all-day class. It starts at 11 in the morning, goes to 6 o'clock at night. And it's just like we're doing now. I bring people on that are doing it, talk about it so that you learn it. It's not a buy this, buy this, buy this. At the very end of the class, we'll tell you, if you want to buy something, you can come to one of our classes. Or if you want to talk to a coach, we're not pitching you all the way through. We're just showing you what you need to do. Now, I have to admit, some people come to the class two or three times, and they say, whoa, this gets better every time. And some yeah. people just say, wow, they like it, and they do it right away. I've been doing the exact same thing for 25 years. I've got the same employees. Uh, my youngest employee is with me here today learning how to do this. She's only been here a few months, but most of our people here are six years, 15 years. So people stay because they know how to do this. Am I a pain in the butt to work for? Yes, but they don't care about that. They got a good job. We pay people well, and this is a way to make money. So if you'd like to be part of that, I'm going to put some information in here in the video, and you can just get yourself signed up. It costs you a big time $47. Now, if you can't afford $47, <laughs> I'm sorry. Save it up, and I'll see you next time. I do it every month, but you got to invest $47. You know why it's 47? Because I know you're a cheapskate and you'll show up if I get 47 bucks. You won't just <laughs> say you're coming. I get your 47, you'll come. I have 90% mm -hmm. 
90% will be on at 5.30. I start at 11, 90 to 95% will still be there at 5.30 when I'm finishing. They don't and leave this line. Yeah. yeah. And that's important to know because I'm, I'm a, I do a lot of stuff like that too. And um, when you have that kind of people, that percentage of people staying on, it's because of what they're learning and what they know they can do with that knowledge. It's, that's powerful. Let me ask you a question before you go. All right. Is this going to change your life in any way? It already has, Ted. I quit oh. my job. I'm doing this. <laughs> I quit my job too, and our why is to get my husband to be able to quit his job. Like part of the reason we're able to be and do is because he works away from home three weeks of the month. And um, so our why, you know, this is our Get Stan Home project. But if I can do it, anybody can do it. I find time in between feedings and changings and and taking care of our farm, and I, I can still do it. So um, I don't plan on going back to work when my mat leaves up, so I, I gotta make this work.